So welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to take an example and use the power method to solve it. And remember in our previous video, we learned the power method and everything about it and then the iterative processes and all. So we are supposed to complete four iterations of the power method to approximate a dominant argent vector of this matrix A here. And then we are supposed to use a Rayleigh quotient to get the dominant argent value of this R matrix A. So solution. Recall in our previous video that we said that when we are doing the iterative process, we choose X0 such that the infinity norm of our X0 is 1. And then our first iteration is X1 equals E X0. Our second iteration is X2 equals E X1 which can be this, since x1 here is the same as e x0 and our x3 is this up to our xn so we are going to use that to solve this question and when we use proper scaling then that means we can get our approximation so here we choose our initial guess that's our initial dominant target vector x0 to be 111 one, 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 sorry so realize that when you find the infinity norm of this it is 1 because 1 is the largest element here so that means that our first approximation, or our first iteration, sorry, will be x1 will be equal to e x0. And this is our e from the question, this is our x0. So when you do this matrix vector multiplication, you get negative 10, negative 4. And after that, we use a scaling. So the scaling is that we try to make whatever is here, let me change the link, whatever is here, 1. So you make sure that in all our iterations, Whatever is here becomes 1. So that's the scaling that we are using. So to do that, then that means we have to factorize negative 4 out. So when you do that, you're going to get negative 4 out and you get 2.5 here and 1.0 here. So when you multiply it, you are going to get the same thing. So this here, this, this thing here becomes the approximated again vector after the first iteration. So the second iteration is that our x2 is equal to e x1. So this is our e. And right now this was our x1. So when we do this, we get 20 e 10. So we have to make sure that whatever is here is 1. So then we have to factorize 10 out. When we bring 10 out, then we have this. So this becomes our approximated argument vector after the second iteration. And when you go to the third one, the same thing. x3 equals e x2. This our e s2 this. So we bring negative 22 outside so that here becomes 1. We get this. So at the third iteration, this becomes our approximated argon vector. Then after our fourth iteration, which is x4 equals e x3, this are e, this are x3, we get this. To make sure this place is 1, we bring 46 out and we get this. So that means that after our fourth iteration, this thing here becomes the approximated argon vector. Not that you can go on and on, but the question says we should do just four iterations. So, after the fourth iteration, the approximated dominant target vector is V equals this vector that we have here. And then we are supposed to use a Rayleigh quotient to find for our dominant argon value. So, it is given by ex dot x, then x dot x, where our x is what we just found here. So, here we can name it x instead of the V. And our lambda here is the dominant target value we are looking for, and the E here is our matrix A. So E times X is going to give us this our E and this our X. So when you do this matrix vector multiplication, you get this. Then when you find the dot product of these two, you get negative 20.036. So that means you are done with this. So this will give us negative. 20.036. Then we find the dot product of x and x. So of our this and itself. So when we do that, we get it to be seven nine point seven six one six. And our really quotient is giving us the ratio of this and that. So when you find the ratio, you get negative two point zero five. So that means that approximately we can see our dominant again value is negative two, right? So Note that the exact solution is the dominant target value is negative 2. But when we use the 
one method in the Riley Cushions, we had negative 0 0.05. 0 .05. So you realize that this is an approximated value to the exact, and you realize it is very close. If you had even done more iterations, then we would have gotten a better answer or something very, very close. And our dominant argument vector, the exact thing is 3, 1. But I realize that when we use the iteration, we had 2.961. You realize this is very, very close to this. So it happens to be the approximation to the exact. So thank you very much. This is how to use the power method to find your approximated eigenvalue and its corresponding eigenvalue.